So the uh, splenius for the V's, semispinalis for the trees, right? In the neck. In the lumbar spine, we also have these in trees. Okay. The these are again going from the Spinuses to the TVPs and the trees are going from the TVPs to the spinuses, same as spinous and semispinalis. Mm -hmm. What muscle would this be? Semispinalis? No, in the lower back. In the lower oh. This is the see these are the legs, and this is the arms. Uh, spinal erectors? Uh, mm hmm that's right. And what muscle would this be? Motifidus? Right. Rotatoris? Or? Right. Okay. So, which way are these erectors going to Same turn? Side. Same size? Mm -hmm. The right, the left multifidus will turn the spine in which direction? Opposite. Opposite. Which is what way? Contralateral rotation. Contralateral. Okay. All right, so let's just watch this now. Hold on here. Turn around, face that way, take your shirt off. We'll just use it as a point here. Let's start in your fashion. Well, they paint all kinds of things on the body, so I mean, you know, you could even do it this way if you want. Okay, we got that whole spine in there. So, if I was going to test for strength of right erector, put your hands up on your shoulders, uh, across your arms and shoulders. Yeah. I'm going to <coughs> tilt him back to the same side. You see how short? You have to lower the camera. You see how short that is there? Yeah. Which? See how long that one is and how short that one is? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. This one's also short, and short. that one's also oh, long. Mm -hmm. So what two muscles are short right now? Right, um, um, right, uh, right uh, rectus spinae rectus spinae and yeah. multifus. Okay. And so if I tilt him more this way, I elongate the left multifidus even more. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yep. Same as the neck, only the lateral flexion component. Okay? What? So if I was going to test strength of... Right erector, I would try to do that. Now, you can also do that in the prone position. It might mm -hmm. be easier with his hands up high beside him, and you put all your body weight in here to try to elongate this. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right. Now, uh, theoretically, if I was testing there, I was testing left multifidus, I would be trying to pull him this way, laterally this way, and that way, okay, the best that I could do, okay, and um, now if I was testing length, for length of multifidus, there's the Austin test, which was written up a couple of years ago by Jack Hewitt, who was, Dr. Jack Hewitt was meant to be coming in today at some point, so, this is very, very simple. Keeping the patient erect, stand, make sure they're lined up exactly right. He's not lined up in the center. Line up in the center. There we go. Has to be lined up in the center. And arm and head needs to see that the head rotates basically the same. He's got a point of reference. All you do is you turn him towards you. Have him ch turn as far as he can and look at you. Look at me. 
I'm looking at the opposite eye, how much of it can I see? I can only see an eyelash. Turn toward me, I can see his entire eye. You have to film this from behind, otherwise you won't see what I'm talking about. Okay, so you have to film it like you're an umpire. What's that? All right, so if we film this from behind, we can see clearly that I can only see a little bit of that, that eyelash, the right eyelash. Okay, when I turn him this way, now watch what's happening down here as well. You see how this one's elongating? Yeah. This line is elongating and this line is shortening. Look at how much I can see. I can see his entire eye. So, he's, he's so you're looking for the... His left multifidus has more... more, has more, has more hmm? his, right, his left multifidus is more tight. So we, when, when he rotates to this... That's guess, correct. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah, he's, there he's, you he's go. Lengthening. He's lengthening. That's yeah. right. Okay. There you're getting the picture there. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're getting the picture there. Okay, that's right. So you want, if you want to look more, so you do side bending? So what's... That's right. That's right. And what's the easy way to remember? Whichever side he does not rotate toward as far is the side, the same side that's short for the multifidus. That's the easy way to remember it. Okay. Now, if I want to test the V's, I want to test the erector. Keep up the arms, please. I will bend him forward more. And I will look from here, from up above, look at me. How much of that eye can I see? Not much of that one. Not that much of that one. So it was primarily a multifidus. Mm. Because when I turn him this way, with him fairly erect, I'm starting to get a little bit more, but not much. We've got a lot more on this side. So basically, if I come in and do my TL on the multifidus in here, Okay, he can't turn to the left. Breathing in, and turn to the right, and relax, stay upright more, and turn to the right. That's right. See, now I can actually feel it engaging. The key is keeping him upright. Let it go. Relax it. Breathing. Go. And relax. And go. For disc problems, this is particularly effective. Breathing. Yeah. When unloading the multifidus spasm, which you can do with the trigenics lengthening procedure, keep your arms up and look at me. This is the side he could turn before and see. And now I see all of his other eye completely. You see it from behind? Yes. Yeah, I see. yeah so he has more. Yeah, so you see a huge, huge difference there. Yeah, a lot. Huge difference. <coughs> and that really helps alleviate the back pain. So the semispinalis in the neck and the multifidus and the lumbar spine are the two primary offenders for um, neck and back pain.